How can find the service and, and people find alternate ways? But what happened, like on the Port Jervis line, when they started to improve the service, lo and behold, they started getting more people to ride it. And, and, and that's the purpose. Those people <coughs> pay the same amount of taxes, and, 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 and uh, they're not getting the service. We have a similar thing west of Hudson, and I clearly understand it, you know. When, when, when the fare from uh, Nanuet to Penn Station, New York, is more than the fare from Croton to Grand Central. It's a matter of concern, and it's a perception to the local uh, the, the, uh, lo local uh, officials on this also that we, they're pu putting money in and we're not getting back a fair share. And there is a, t a tremendous concern on the eastern end of Long Island. And I think possibly if you start improving the service, maybe you'll get more riders. Anything else anybody wants to bring up before our guest comes? So we'll go into a short recess. Well, the only other thing is Bill and I, we, yesterday, were at the uh, New York Metropolitan Transportation Council meeting, and the keynote speaker was Anthony Fox, Secretary of Transportation. And one of the things that he pushed very strongly was the Hudson River Rail Tunnel Project. That this is this is uh, super critical to the to uh, us, and if if the, the current tunnels were to go down, there would be 180,000 people that would be, not be able to get into New York, and and I also had brought up uh, because wearing my other hat as the representative from the New Jersey Association of Rail Passengers, the Port Authority is trying to build a new bus terminal on the west side of Manhattan to replace the current terminal now. The current terminal, hey, it's old, there's a lot of obsolete things, and, and it was never designed to take the new New Jersey Transit buses that go there, which are now going to be bigger and heavier. They're going to 45-foot buses that will carry nine more passengers, but that adds load to the floors, the weight, and everything else. So they, they do need it. But there's no plan, and this is where uh, uh, the Transit Riders Council should be involved, if they build this bus terminal, what are the people going to do when they get off the bus or uh, the buses in the terminal? Where are they going to go? And and, and we, we said this. The, the city never built the, the uh, 10th Avenue, 42nd Street station. It's a long walk over to 8th Avenue. Even Senator Schumer has jumped on that bandwagon and said it should have been built. Yeah. And, and the other thing yeah. is, is the, the E train, which brings them over to the east side, the people can't even get on the E train now at, 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 at uh, 42nd Street because it gets jammed when it pulls into Penn Station. And if anybody hasn't seen that crowding, it is it is really... Uh, Which should be largely removed once the east side access is built. Uh, so anyway, so just a little more about it. Uh, I'll just tell you a little more about it. And that is that we asked the Port Authority, did they look into all of this and see what has to be done? Also, the problem of how you bring the buses into the Lincoln Tunnel and the exclusive bus lane out on the other side. Now, this doesn't affect people here, but it does affect us in Rockland County because that's, that, that's part of the, the mass transit service that we have. And, and this is a whole a big issue. What the New Jersey Association of Rail Passengers is putting for is possibly the extension of the number seven subway out to Secaucus. And, and, and if those buses can go out to Secaucus, they don't have to come into Manhattan. Now, that's a thing to be looked into. There's a couple of things with, right, with on that. that. Um, the chairman has said, you know, we will not, the state of New York will not pay for something. New Jersey would have to kick in for that, obviously. But what you have is a tremendously unused, wonderful facility, the Meadowlands Rail Facility, that is totally unused, that, that you could be sending 15 minute shuttles into, but once the tunnels are five, into Penn Station, and you don't have to bring half of those buses in. Yeah. Well, it's totally, it's only used for Bruce Springsteen concerts and the occasional football game. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's sitting there, seven seven terminal tracks with no virtually no activity. Well, the, 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 the Secaucus Transfer Station turns in here. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Chris. I had I a question regarding you guys' thing. Because you see, I used the Hanley bus on Tuesday, and I was discussing this with my mother, who went up went with me to Atlantic City. Uh, there, there was like a huge line 
of buses, it doesn't matter which buses there are. You also have some, again, you also have, you have these two or three express buses coming out of Staten Island. They get stuck to it, the Lincoln Tunnel, too. But also, the thing is, is also, is I think with Andrew about why he needs the train to go, you know, the train needs to go into Maryland. This is a football game, but they need to get them a little better because you stranded so many customers, and it's really not safe because the platforms are overflowed. It's much dangerous. When it came to the Super Bowl, they did not do it everything correctly of safety because it's very dangerous that they, they did that. And regarding 430 with the new bus, uh, bus terminal, I'd like to know where is that going to be built because, and if it's going to be more linked to a subway or linked to a bus, a uh, better, a better uh, train connection because to build that, you know, it's going to be very hard to do that over, over all that heavy traffic. Okay, thank you. Thing is, and I think the only thing about it is safety. Thank well, you. Well, the terms are correct. Also has the bus terminal. That's also the construction, too. Right. Well, the terminal would cost $10 billion. That's a lot of money to build a bus terminal. And and it would be farther yeah. over on the west side from the current bus terminal. Okay, thank you. Yeah, there's been a lot of commute. There's going to be some huge issues with that. There's going to be problems okay. with that. Okay, thank you. Going on the other side because there's too much congestion over there. All right, thank it, you, Chris. They're not, they're not, you know, not... The Port Authority... I'm sorry, someone said I didn't hear what I was... All right, thank you. The Port Authority okay. Bus Terminal is in Community Board 4, and they've had many meetings on this. And as a matter of fact, they have been advocating that the damn new terminal be built in New Jersey, where it should have been built in the first place. What is going to... What the Port Authority wants to do is to really expand west of 10th and 11th, tear down a lot of housing and all right. kinds of things. The community board is furious. Well, but one of the things I is... I expect lawsuits over this. Uh, yes, there it's will be. It's going to be years before this thing happens. But, but just a little more background. I was at the Greater Meadowlands Chamber of Commerce meeting with Ronnie Hakem when she was executive director of New Jersey Transit. And they were all touting, bring the number seven train out to Secaucus. And, and that was part of it. And the people from Community Board 4 were there with me ringing the bell for that. But you know what the chairman has said about that? He said he would not want to see, and I don't know, maybe you could run more service, but when CDTC is on the line, but he says to have that train arrive at Hudson Yards and have standing room only then would not be a good thing. Right. But you could start some of the trains at Hudson Yards. Yes. Well, there's, there's actually, you have to go west of Hudson Yards. Yeah, you could never relay, you build a relay to a small yard there. This would be part of the park. There is a yard south of yeah, well, and the, but you could store some trains there and then not send every, it's like, just like the 180 Street uh, years ago, they used to send the, some of the trains terminated 180 and some went up to 44th Street. Well, along the railroad trains are stored under Hudson Yard. Excuse me, it's all Maureen? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. <coughs> suggested several times that it would be nice to try to alleviate some of the traffic um, down on 42nd Street by having another terminal farther north so that the buses didn't have to come all the way. Not that this is not the New Jersey uh, commuters, but the northern commuters, so the buses don't have to spend a half an hour or an hour driving down the west side. There's a and terminal on 178th Street, is that the one you mean? But they don't use it. Why don't they use, have it? Bus service get off there, and then you can get on the subway. Well, you don't have to no sit in traffic for now. Yeah, there are. Well, there are some buses. Depends what the, yeah, the, north, yeah, what the origin is. But it tends to be North Jersey buses. Yeah. 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 Right. But you got to remember yeah. that when everybody says New Jersey, Rockland County, which is part of the MTA, is on the west side of the Hudson River, and we are underserved by the MTA, and a lot of people, so because of it, do take buses. And and the interesting part about it is that most people don't know that those buses that they get to use for that service comes from New Jersey Transit. They lease it to Coach USA to provide the service. I think if people have to get a better understanding of what's going on. Ira? I, you know, for the 7 line, there's only, there's only two tunnels. You really have to take a look at, you know, where people coming from New Jersey, where are they getting off, you know, and how that's, how that's working out. I mean, in some ways, it, it, Theoretically, it should work because all these people are coming from Queens, they get off in Manhattan. Right. At the same time, all these people are coming from New Jersey going in the reverse direction and they're getting off in Manhattan. So, theoretically, it might work. 
but I think somebody pointed out you probably have some platform issues. Already you do. So I, you know, I'd have to take a look at that to see. But this, and, and this also, you know, building a tunnel is building a tunnel. It's extremely expensive. And what you'd be doing is you're building a tunnel for sort of transit line that has tiny, relatively tiny cars. I mean, they're IRT cars as opposed to larger cars or railroad cars. Although I guess just the headways. You can run the headway, and there's 11 car trains, I reckon. Yes, I know. Seven trains. I rely on seven. Can you, imagine, <laughs> yeah. can you imagine how many fewer of those jitneys would be on the helix coming through the Lincoln Tunnel if, if the seven? To get the jitneys, the buses. Yeah. Is, yeah. If you're if you if you're coming yeah. into New York on the Lincoln Tunnel in the evening, you can't do it. Don't take the Lincoln Tunnel yeah. because it's all backed up in the reverse direction. It's, the, it's just a bunch of buses. You also trying to get into Manhattan. It delays delayed the Because two of the three tubes are westbound only at that, so they only give you one tube. And it's full of buses. Right. And a couple of cars. Yeah, the late departures of expresses express yeah, you, don't, you, you have to go up to the, the George Washington Bridge. There's no or well, take the Holland Tunnel, I suppose. The, the, the late evening departures of Rockland Express. Buses anyway, the idea is not a bad one. It's something to look into. It. Our, our, our return Something. buses that make mm -hmm. earlier trips and many Spice times they sad. come so late and that people are going to pay for what? Right? Inclination from the, the tunnel to New Jersey. Towards this seven extension? Uh, Someone seems to come up with uh, well, Chris, uh, well, 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 The governor doesn't want to pay for anything. Uh, uh, Chris, 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 the trust fund in New Jersey is broke. But the Port Authority could get involved on this too uh, because they want to build this bus terminal and, and, and take over quite a bit of real estate on the, on the west side of Manhattan. And it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm supposed to have a meeting, Randy and I, maybe on the 21st of this month. We're advocates and we, we talked to New Jersey Transit directly. And the the interim executive director of New Jersey Transit, a gentleman named Dennis Martin, who is very, very familiar with the operation of the Port Authority bus terminal, because he was vice president and general manager of New Jersey Transit bus operation, and he's been reorganizing the Port Authority bus terminal to make it work much better. And he's been very successful, and very successful at it. He gets a lot of the buses off the streets in, in Manhattan. You could do an awful lot. They would just increase the, the tunnel gas tax by two to three right. cents. You, you'd be amazed what you could do. But no, he won't do that. Well, they, there is, but there was. It's 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 stuck down in Trenton, and uh, it's, it's, it's it's a sorry state of affairs. All the transportation projects are completely stopped. Many of the people I was talking about who were in the Lincoln Tunnel or New Yorkers who were going over there to refuel. Right. <laughs> that's supposed to, that's supposed to end soon, right? No, that failed. <laughs> Aren't they going to try again? Well, it's not like they were close. It's well, worth it to pay the toll. That's politics of so another state. Fuel. We can't even handle politics in our own state. <laughs> so let's Scott, tell people from Staten Island do that. I go to Jersey all the time. Yeah, all the yeah. time. It pays you to take the toll and refuel. I'll pin on E. Oh, yeah. Go fill up and I have dinner. <laughs> but. It does affect the commuters from Staten Island because, some, as, as Andrew clearly pointed out, on the New Jersey Turnpike, you see the MTA buses going towards the Lincoln Tunnel, and the exclusive, and the exclusive bus lane is operating at over 100% capacity, and that's how they try to get into Manhattan. Regardless if they go through the bus terminal or not, because some of the buses don't. They actually spread out and go up, up 6th Avenue, come down 5th Avenue, and some of them go through and just head down to the battery, you know, on, on lower Broadway. So uh, that's additional buses on the streets of Manhattan, which congest and slow down MTA buses. I don't know. So I don't know where our speaker is. He's, He's kind of just walking down the hall. OK. He'll be here on time. He'll be here. Yes, sir. He's on. Uh, Bob Kiley right, exactly. asked me to tell you that there'll be a memorial service yeah. for Bob Kiley on the 30th of September at 11 o'clock at the University Club, and that you're all welcome. Can you can you give that to a Bill so yeah, yeah, we'll we'll that if you can email to everybody? Yeah, we'll send it to me and I'll I'll I think I'll give you a copy of from Boston. It'll be nice. I have a lot of respect for you.
So, so we can wrap it up. Anything else somebody wants to uh, bring up before our uh, guest speaker comes in? All right, thank you. Thank you. No, it's just that we're just pausing, waiting for our keynote speaker to come in. We're going to sit over there and run this. My pleasure to introduce Clark Moran, who's the Chief Financial Officer of the MTA. He's been here previously, so I'll give him the uh, floor. Yeah. Yeah.